in the tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot about this mod and now let's go ahead and install it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install the Smart Moving Mod for Minecraft, all right? Also, if you guys want other 1.8 mods that you can play along with this, I have a top five mods video out right now, which I'll put in annotation. If you wanna check it out, you can. Also, I'm right now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm working on a very big video um, with a lot of the best 1.8 mods. I'm aiming for at least 25 mods in that video. When that video is out, and I'm hoping to get it out by the weekend, I've been working on it a little bit throughout the week, uh, I'll put another annotation on the screen. Definitely check that out if you want to play other 1.8 mods along with this. Alright, so what you'll need to install this mod is Minecraft Forge, Player API, Render Player API Core, and the Smart Moving Mod. Alright, if you have all these and they're all in Minecraft 1.8, you can go ahead and click the annotation on the screen right here and it skips you to the actual tutorial. Because right now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where to find everything, where to find all the links so that you don't accidentally download a virus or you click on the wrong thing, you click on an ad by accident or something like that. So that's why I like showing it. So right above my old video that I did on Smart Moving will be the current mod version the actual download link so you can download it from either mediafire or dropbox i recommend dropbox simply because mediafire has so many ads and sometimes it'll open up a new tab once you hit download which might also then download something else and you accidentally click it and might download a virus so definitely recommend dropbox all right click save profile and go ahead and click ok now go ahead and download the mod now scroll on down for the other links past all the videos this is actually my oldest smart moving mod video that I had done so right underneath that is the required mods all right so we're gonna need minecraft forge I recommend going to this link right here files.minecraftforge.net it's different from this link this one is just a lot easier to find the correct version that you're gonna want so go to select minecraft version and select 1.8 all right go on down I recommend just use the latest version of minecraft forge so we're gonna use the windows installer if we're on windows like I am or if you're on Mac you'll need to use this installer I believe and if that's the case, you have to open it up with Java, which can be kind of difficult. You have to right click it, go to open with, choose Java. This one, you just double click it. It's really simple. Anyways, clicking either one will take you to AdFly. If you have any problems with AdFly, the most common error that I get is it says cookies not enabled. Exit out of it and re-click the link. The second time, it always works for me. Go ahead and click skip ad. And if you have a loop on the countdown, that means you have ad block enabled. Disable ad block and then you'll be able to click skip ad. All right. So now that you have Minecraft Forge installed, you'll need player API core. All right, this takes you to this site right here. So go on down to the core under the current versions and go ahead again, choose either Mediafire or Dropbox. Go ahead and click Save File. All right, after we have that, and this is optional, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install it if you wanna install it, but you don't have to. All right, it's Render Player API Core. So go ahead, the Core 1.3, go ahead again, Mediafire or Dropbox, and go ahead and click Save Profile or save file. All right, now that we have everything that we need to install, we're now finally ready to install the mod. So go ahead to the Minecraft Forge installer and go ahead and double click it. Go ahead and then click run. Also, if you have a cracked version of Minecraft, Minecraft Forge will not work for it. All right, you'll get an error report every time you try to load up Minecraft. So unfortunately, you have to have, you cannot use that cracked version. All right, well, not unfortunately, but you know what I mean. Um, you just, you have to have a legit version of Minecraft to be able to run Minecraft Forge. All right. After we have Minecraft Forge installer open, click install client and click OK. All right, this will go ahead and it should say that it has successfully installed client profile Forge. If you have an error, the most common error that it says is it says that you have to run 1.8 manually first. What that means is you have to go into Minecraft, go into your profiles, choose your name, and then choose either release or version 1.8. I can't remember what it was, but it's, you know, release or version 1.8. Then run Minecraft first, and then exit out, and then run this Forge installer. All right, go ahead and click OK now. Now we're done with Forge, so we can go ahead and get rid of it. Now we're on to installing player API. So go to your search bar, go ahead and type in percent app data, nope, data percent. So that's percent app data percent, hit enter. This takes you to your roaming folder. Inside your roaming folder is your dot Minecraft folder. Double click your dot Minecraft folder. Inside your dot Minecraft folder will be a mods folder. If there is no mods folder, that just means you haven't run Minecraft with Forge installed. So you can either do that or you can just go to new folder or right click new folder and create the mods folder, all lowercase just like this. Go ahead and double click it. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do right now is create a new folder on your desktop. Take any mods that you currently have in your mods folder, drag them to this new folder. We want this folder empty when we install the smart moving mod. 
All right. If you have other mods in here, they could be incompatible with, um, you know, smart removing, or they can be older mods, and they might cause Minecraft to crash. So we're definitely going to want to have a clean mods folder before we do this. And then you can go ahead and install mods in after we know that smart moving has worked. So go ahead now, open up the player API core file. I recommend using WinRAR or 7-zip if you have either one of those files. So if you don't have either one, I, I definitely recommend WinRAR. There'll be a link in the description. Just download and install the one for your operating system, all right, the trial version, and then you'll be able to open these up with WinRAR, all right. So we're going to want the player API.jar, all right. Make sure it's not the SRC. Make sure it is the .jar file and then drag it into your mods folder, all right. Now we're done with that. Go ahead and get rid of it. Next, we need player API core. So go, again, go ahead, open with, and choose WinRAR. All right, again, take the .jar of the render player API. Drag it into your mods folder. All right, now we're done with that one. We can get rid of it. Next up is the actual mod itself. So right click it, go to open with again, WinRAR. All right, now we're gonna need actually three files. We'll need the smart render, smart moving, smart core. Now to get all three of these, hold down the control key or the grab key for this mod. Go ahead and then press all three of them and keep on holding down the grab key or the control key, and then go ahead and drag them in. And there you go, that is how you install the smart moving mod. We can go ahead and exit out of everything. I'll show you guys where the configuration file also is, so if you wanna change um, the uh, the uh, ladder climbing mode, or if you wanna change the sneaking, I'll show you guys where that is. But we first have to load up Minecraft and actually load the mod. All right, so make sure your profile is set to Forge, and make sure that it is ready to play with that build that we just installed, and click play. All right, and the most common issue here is that you have mods in your mods folder that are incompatible with this mod or older mods like 1.7 mods trying to run off of Forge 1.8. Every time that happens, Minecraft will crash. So as I said, the most common fix to that is actually just to go in and take every other mod out except the mods with the smart moving mod. All right. All right, so we can go into mods folder. You know, there are the mods that we just installed. We can go into single player. I'll show you guys, you know, one of the movements just so that, you know, it worked. All right, we'll go into uh, we'll go into sneaking mode or uh, crawling mode. So there you go. Let's just show you that you know it worked. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys where the um, configuration file is. So again, go into your .minecraft folder, go into percent app data percent if you don't have a shortcut. All right, go to your .minecraft folder. Here, right here, are the smart underscore moving options. This is for the mod itself. All right, so you're going to want to right click it, go to open with, and choose Notepad or search for it and choose default program. All right. So after we have it open with uh, Notepad, right here, here's the climbing that I was talking about. You can change it between free, smart, simple, and standard. Just right here, you just delete it, and then you go ahead and change it to free or whatever. Click File and save it. Make sure you save the changes. If you don't save the changes, you just exit out. The changes won't be made, all right? And if you want to find the sneaking, hit Control F, all right? And then we'll just type in sneak. All right, we'll go ahead and find next. Okay, I'm pressing it until we find the uh, sne there, generic sneaking right there. And then uh, just right here, if you want to change the uh, the speed, you can change it anywhere from zero to one. Obviously, the higher up towards one, the faster it's going to be. All right, and as I said, make sure you save it. If you don't save it, it's not going to save. And then when you load up Minecraft, it'll be the same. All right. Anyways, that is it for this tutorial. I hope this has helped you. Again, if Minecraft crashes, even after you take the mods folder, you know, the mods in your mods folder out, you can leave a crash report in the comment section, and if I see it, I will read it, and I'll get back to you as to why it crashed, or at least I'll, you know, I'll take a look at it, and I'll give my best guess as to why it would have crashed, and I'll try to fix your Minecraft for you. So anyways, that is it for this. I hope this helped. Again, if, if it did, liking the video helps a lot, you know, just to get it noticed a little bit more. If you guys want to leave a comment, if I see it, I'll respond back to you, and subscribe to the channel if you want. I'll, as I said, I'll be doing a, a big video this weekend, so... At least I'm going to attempt to release it this weekend on all the 1.8 mods that are currently out that are really awesome. Like this mod, this mod will definitely be in that video as well. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's it for me today.